Right, I'm going to start sorting out the brushes now. Before I start, I'll just explain what's happening. On the original car generator, these two spades are your like positive and negative power. So if I take that off, you'll see the coils, one end of each coil is joined together. And these two wires, one from this coil, they're here. So this wire from one coil is insulated from the other wire, which is earthed against the body. That goes through that bolt head through to the spade. I've drawn a little diagram I'll show you. Right, so here's the diagram. It's like one big circuit. Here you've got the brushes as on there. This brush is earthed right to the body. The other brush, sorry I've got that round the wrong way. That brush is earthed to the body. This brush is insulated from the body. So if you put a meter across there, across this one and then touch the earth you would get no circuit so it's like one big circuit this is the rotor spinning around the brushes are there this is one of the spade connectors which is insulated there this is the other spade connector there so you've got one wire from one coil earthed against the body of the generator let's draw that in there so you're going from there up through there round the coil that's where the two coils are joined together through this coil to that spade so that's going to a meter this one going to the meter Insulated there is going round doing this is spinning and then this brush is earthed to the body going through to that wire there. So that's like the circuit for the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is when I wire up my generator that spade will be gone that still be insulated this is the earth from one coil so that will still be there going around that coil through that join there into that coil the other end of this coil will be coming out the hole in my box down to a connector and this one here where this is spinning around this brush is earthed to the body, which is earthed to that wire. This one insulated, so the wire that would have been out the spade here will be coming through there and then coming out through this hole to the other connector. So if I put a meter across there, that should be generating power to make that read. So let's sort out the brushes. Right, I've decided there's too much work involved in trying to machine that down. Besides, the brushes would be in the way and that. And I thought if I'm going to take them off of there, I'll make a new plate. So these two holes would be fixing it inside the casting. And these two holes here will be for each brush. So that'll be like so right so I'm gonna start taking the brushes off of here that's one brush on now to do this one with the insulation I've got both brushes in this one is earth to the plate which be earth to the body so you can hear and this one's not look that's how it's got to be. 
and I've put a wire on from this one which should feed out through the body to my little box. So next thing is to get this into the generator. Right, so I've got the plate and the brushes in the end of the casting and if I touch that there, that's the earthed one. See, you can serve to the body and this one is not. So that's perfect. Now I think I can try in the rotor there. Right, the rotor's in there. Now what I've got to do is get the coils into the body. Right, I've got the coils into the body. As you can see, that wire there is earthed to the body of the generator from that coil and that wire there I've extended and threaded it out through the box that one would have been on the bolt uh, insulated from this end of the wire to the spade so now I'm going to try and get the end in with the rotor in That's the brush end on. So far, so good. And there's the two wires coming out. That should be my positive and negative. Now I've got to get on and fit the smaller end on. Right, so that's both ends on. And there's the two wires, which should be my positive and negative. Now, <laughs> I'm going to see, and keep my fingers crossed, I'm going to get an electric drill on there. <laughs> Connect up the wires to a multimeter and we'll see if it works. Right, I've got electric drill on there. The wires are connected up to some to the multimeter. All I want to do is I don't want to run it too long because there's no oil on the bearings. But you can see. So, that is one working generator. Right, so that's one finished generator, generating power. On the next video, I have got the wire gauze and the brass to make those covers there. And I'll make the oilers with the brass caps on there. Please subscribe to my channel, it doesn't cost you anything and the more people that uh, subscribe to my channel I'll try and get some more interesting videos up. Thank you.